Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ragecraft 3 with me, Seijiro. Hello. Uh, we are continuing on in the little mines. We've explored a bit of the area and we've come to a fork in the road. And I think we're going to go off into the right over here. We've already explored a little bit over there. And I've brought the spawner over and I've placed it in this section over here. This is pretty far ahead. Just right here. And we'll continue on and explore this. We still have that uh, real cart right there. I think it's spawning those uh, little dwarven guys. Yep, spawned right there. There's another little section right here that we need to see. Oh, ah! Oh! Looking at that now, it kind of looks like the teleporter. The checkpoint. Let's just kind of circle around here first. Light this all up. Wah! Wah! Stop it! Oh, there's a chest. So many spawners. Okay. Now let's use the nether storm on these guys. Oh. Ha! Knocked you off. I think I can also uh, shoot that rail cart, uh, that mine cart off. Ah! The arrow flew back at me. It's a good thing we have fire resistance. Alright, they're down. Doesn't sound like anyone else is coming for us. Oh, see that thing again. Let's see if I can hit it. Nope. The fence is blocking our way. Hmm. I want to get that before we head in there. Oh. Aha! Let's get come back around over to there. Let's break this. And you're gone. No more spawning. Okay, let's head down here and see what this is. Hmm. Very interesting. Miner Shrine. Doesn't look trapped. You can sacrifice two lapis lazuli blocks. Blocks? Oh my gosh to the gods of mining by placing them on top of these two obsidian blocks. If you do this, the gods will grant all players a buff haste one that lasts until death. This shrine can be used as often as you like. Until death. Well, kind of die pretty often. And since it uses up two lapis blocks, my goodness, we need lapis for enchantments. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I mean, it sounds kind of good. Haste, I mean. But I don't think so. Not gonna do it. Dig. Oh, I guess this is a little shortcut. And it is. Wow, that's pretty close. Oh my gosh, there's only two blocks away. Okay. Well, let us continue on in here. I've also got another helmet that I can put on after this breaks. Or it gets too low. I hope it doesn't break. Alright, let's head out here and explore more of the area. I know that there's a lot of spawners over here. Yep, like this one here. Oh. oh. Thank you for not blowing up the chest. Okay, that's pretty lit up. So let's check this out. It's creeper head and panic potions. Instant health three. Ooh, resistance resistance three for twenty seconds. Fire resistance fifteen. We have weakness three for thirty seconds. When applied, minus one point five attack damage. Okay. So if we're in a pinch and we're running away, it's good to splash that on ourselves. 
Nice. All right, we have collected the things from here. Oh. There's some, oh, he had a short fuse. Oh, right. There's that spawner up there. Let me take care of that. Okay, no more spawning for you. That seems like this area is done. So we can move on over to that other area. I think we'll do this at another time, collecting all the lapis down there. Let's just try to find the crystal for now and the other emeralds. I'm just gonna push this along and uh, flip the switch. I said flip the switch. No, don't go back. And there was a little hole over here that we found last time. Let's stop here for the mine cart. Head in here. Whoa, uh, got a guy. Uh, uh, oh, now they're all gonna come out for me. As long as we don't get swarmed, things should be okay. Alright, that's down. Just a lot of more gold. Almost done. Doesn't seem like there's going to be a special item in this area. Oh, hello. That was kind of a trap. Good thing we didn't uh, have them blow up. Oh, no. I was ha half expecting these to be silverfish. So that when they blow up, silverfish spawn. I guess that's not the case. Oh. Oh, okay, so there is a special item. And is this trapped? Doesn't look like it. So it's safe. Alright, let's read this. Axe of the Dwarven King. Sharpness 4, Fire Spike 2, Knockback 1, Unbreaking 5. A large but blunt axe that could almost pass as a hammer. And it adds 20% max health. Oh my goodness. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'll be using that right now. Aha! Two extra hearts. But only when we're holding it. Alright, let's head back out. I think that was it for this area. We'll collect all the gold later. Oh, this is going to be so much gold. Man, even more area. It splits off. Oh, uh, this is like a little pond that we can fish from if we want to. I wonder if there's anything hidden in it. Hmm. A little melon farm here. I don't really care for melons. Only for brewing. Ah. Oh, here's a berserker. This guy's a lot of help. Alright, come on guy. Just die already. Trying to eat food. No. All right. And you dropped some more iron. Cool. Okay. It's almost.
almost done. That's the special guy. Oh! Here's an emerald. I grabbed that, right? Yeah, I did. And an anvil. We have... We're getting a lot of those. Soon we'll not need them as much. Because of the enchanting table. Oh, there's a chest down there. And what is that? Is that a hopper? Ooh. Uh. Okay, almost there. Oh no, that's a cauldron. Oh! There's an area down there. It's an iron helmet. Ooh. Very good, and some golden apples. Let's explore this, shall we? Oh. Ah, Naja. This goes down pretty deep, and I'm hearing more monsters. Hmm. Oh, just uh, heads down to this ravine here. And I don't want to be here right now. Oh, I don't want to use that. Oh, I don't want to use that uh, exploding trap. Well, it's going to be too much effort trying to go up the waterfall. Not the waterfall, that uh, little water stream. Let's try to head up through this ravine. Oh, there's some lapis. Not gonna collect it now though. Just gonna head out. Wow. Oh, there's another thing right here. Whoa. No. Hmm. Well, this is an axe. Yeah. Okay. Now we have to destroy this. Oh, it kind of got pushed back by the creeper. There we go. And there's a... Oh, fire resistance potion here. That's pretty good. Let's just try to head back up. Take care of these spawners, too. Alright, and we have this. Come on. It's not really working. There we go. Okay. Let's head back to where we were, wherever that was. Yep, it was right here. Uh, incidentally, this is already completed. We've already done this area. So let's head back and go this way. Uh, where's this? Where's the spawner? We left it over here. Um. Oh, got these spawners here. Give me just a sec to manage the inventory and push this along here, and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back and ready to continue on with this area. I've actually de-equipped my helmet. It was actually ro running low on durability, so I equipped this uh, Dwarven Mining Uniform. This gives me 10% max health, plus this axe gives me 20% uh, more max health. I am pretty tanky right now. Oh! The teleporter! Very good. You know, I keep going back right before I just noticed the teleporter. Oh my goodness. And there we go. Back to Little Mines. Let's 
continue on. This track is broken. I don't have any more tracks available. Let's just uh, get the buffs right now and head on in. Oh, coal blocks. Very good. Uh, okay. Whoa. Just want to torch up the area a little bit. Ah, uh, some lag. Ah, uh, mobs everywhere! I think I entered as the Enderman. Angered an Enderman. Sorry. Yep, he's coming towards me. Oh no! Oh, good, he's dead. So many guys. I'm just swinging my uh, axe wildly. I guess since we have the teleporter here, it's uh, about halfway through the map. No, not the map, sorry. We're halfway through the area. If we were halfway through the map, that would be awesome. <laughs> okay. And, um... Well, this little thing is just so that we can bring our cart over. I suppose so. Right, let's head in these houses and destroy these spawners. Ooh, Dwarven Battle Brew. Strength for 4 minutes, Fire Resistance for 4 minutes, Haste 3 for 4 minutes, Nausea for 15 seconds. That's a really good thing. Wow. Let's grab that. Fortune. Uh, we don't really need the leather. A diamond axe, cool. Yeah, this is Basically, uh, garbage. <laughs> I have so much back at base. Oh boy. That's unfortunate. Oh, hi. Get out of here, guys. And, uh, let's kill this. Oh, a special item. Pants of the Dwarven King. Oh, wow, it's iron. Protection 2, blast protection 2, unbreaking 3. They seem a little too short for you legs. Well, no wonder, it's a Dwarven guy. And it's a minus 10% speed, but plus 2 attack damage. Whoa! Let's grab that. Alright, my inventory is pretty full, but it's actually a lot of uh, useless stuff. Let's ditch those. Uh, we can always use more arrows, I suppose. And we have a lot of glowstone. Okay. Things are still spawning. Um, how about we run? Oh man, I think I saw a creeper spawner up there. Ah, it didn't sprint! Okay, there we go. Oh, there's no... I guess that's how glowstone... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Um, let's just torch up this area so no more creepers fall on our heads. Let's destroy that. Aha, I got it! Um, kinda wanna ignore these guys. They don't really know how to get up to me. It's, uh, it's not that they're dangerous, I just don't wanna deal with all of them. Okay. Now in here, is there a chest? Nope. 
we do have more area over here. Hmm. What do we want to do? Uh... I guess we'll rebuild this track. Ah! Whoa. Man, there must be a spawner somewhere. Okay, we'll re rebuild this track and move the spawner closer so that we can get the buffs. Oh, no chest. So yeah, I think we'll have to do that next time. We'll continue on this area. I really hope that the next episode will be the last, the one we find the crystal. Because it seems like we're over halfway. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Sage Hero playing Ragecraft 3. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.